students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be rounding and you will be able to do pages 8, 9, and 10 from module 8. Today's students will be able to round whole numbers to the nearest tens, hundreds, and thousands. But what does it mean when we say rounding? Well, sometimes when we go and ask, and I'm not, not promoting, but I just found this uh, on the mail today. And mom, can I get some money so I can go and buy some food? And you will usually say, oh, can I have $10? You know, because you're rounding. It's easier to deal with um, asking for rounded money than just specific amount of money, especially if you don't have the coins. <laughs> um, or in here, for example, if you go and my daughter needed some shoes for work. And so she went and, and bought these shoes. And next time when she goes, oh, I need to save money for my shoes. And I know it's around $70. That's what it's going to be in her mind, right? where you will be rounding to about how much money you will need. Um, or she might say, if she rounds to the tens, it will be closer to 70. But if she rounds to the hundreds, it will, she will say probably, I'll save $100. Okay, that's rounding to the hundreds. And so in here, I did a video in Spanglish. So if you want to see that in Spanglish, the link is going to be towards the end of this video. So you can check it out. But if not, just focus on these ones. I'm just going to explain it in, in English this time. So in here we have a number and we already learned about place value, meaning ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, and ten millions. And yes, I decided to put in here, especially for the Spanish, uh, it's very close uh, for the decimals, but we're not going to learn about that right now. That's going to be in module E. In the objective, it said that we're going to be rounding to the nearest tens, meaning the second number from right to left, hundreds, the third number, and thousands, which is the fourth number. I'll put the link down below to a song of something about rounding, which is interesting. Um, it's from Queen. Is like, we will, we will round you, round you. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is identify the place value. In this case, is tens, and again, tens. This is ones. This is tens. So you're going to circle the tens place value in a balloon and somebody did a demonstration where they were holding an actual balloon and they say think of that number being the balloon hold it with one fist only and it says open up eight fingers and if the balloon goes up that means that this is going to go to the next value okay so open up eight fingers one two three four five since you were holding the balloon, the balloon starts flying when you open your five fingers, right? And then five, six, seven, eight, even more, okay? So as soon as you open five fingers or more, the balloon goes up one place value. So now that's the rule. If the number on the right is five or more, this gets one more. Again, if the number on the right is five or more, it gives one more. So six plus one is seven. And anything in front of that or to the right will become a zero. Now the, the rounding part, it just means, is this closer to 60 or the next 10, which is 70? And 68 is closer to 70. For the next one, ones, tens, we circle the three. Again, we look at that and say the balloon is right there at three. Open two fingers. One, two. Oh, the string will be still there. Let's say that this is my balloon. <laughs> it's not, but you're still holding, so it won't go away because you still have, you all just open two fingers. Okay, it stayed at three. So the three stays and anything to the right becomes a zero. Ones, tens. Again, my balloon is a two. I'm holding with my whole fist. And now I open one, two, three, four, five, 
and it went away. <laughs> it's actually sliding. Whoop. <laughs> if you open five or more, in this case seven, because you're not holding onto the string, the balloon goes up. Okay, so it's going to be 400. This becomes a three, two plus one is three, and the rest becomes zero. I'll link the video that I found out on the balloon demonstration as well. <laughs> Ones, tens, is this one right here. Okay, the two is the balloon. You hold on with five fingers. It says open one finger. Oh, it's still holding. The balloon stays. It doesn't go away until I open more than five fingers. So since I open only one, it stayed and that stays the same. So six, one, the two stays the same and anything to the right becomes a zero. This means is it closer to 6,120 or 6,130, okay? And because it's 21, it's closer to 20, 6,120. Ones, tens. If this is five or more, five or more, you are able to give a hand. Oh, give me a hand, please. Help me here. <laughs> One more thing. When the number in the balloon or the circle number is a nine, it will end up affecting the number on the left. Why is that? Because nine plus one is 10. You put the zero and carry the one. And three plus one is four. And the rest, everything to the right becomes a zero. In this case, it's only one number, so it's 400. And that's what it means. Is this closer to 390? Oh, we don't have anything on the tens other than nine, so, or 400, okay? Again, we're rounding to the tens, but because if this is a nine, the number that we're rounding is a nine, it affects the hundreds, not the tens place only. Ones, tens, again, another example, however, in here, we have four. Let's do the balloon with that one. <laughs> we hold with five fingers. It says open four fingers. One, two, three, four. Even though it's only with one finger, this didn't go because I was still holding it with one finger. So the balloon number stays. And this becomes a zero. If it stays, even if it's a nine, it does not affect anything else because it stays. Seven, six, five stay the same. The nine stays and that becomes a zero. Anything to the right of the balloon becomes a zero. Ones, tens. If it's five or more, it, it adds one more. If it's four or less, it will stay. So this is one. This one stayed because this didn't add anything in here and this becomes a zero. So 111 is closer to 110, 110 than 120. Ones, tens, there is a zero in there. So eight, is it closer to zero tens or one ten? Well, since it's five or more, give a hand. Right? Five or more, in this case is eight. If it has at least one hand, you, you can give one more. Zero plus one is one, and this becomes a zero. Anything to the right of the balloon becomes a zero. Ones, tens. Okay, this is a nine. Three doesn't give anything in here, so it stays. So the nine stays. The nine in here stays because this is uh, a three. Remember the zero, one, two, three, four will make it stay. And anything on the right is zero. Okay, now the next one said round to the nearest hundreds. So this is ones, tens, hundreds is the third number from right to left. Circle that. Again, if this is a five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
add one more yes it's more than five we add one more and the rest stay at zero becomes zero five plus one is six two zeros so 578 is closer to 600 than to 500 and it makes sense 78 is closer to the next 100 right the next 100 one stands hundreds hmm remember what we said if this is a nine and this is five or more, it will end up affecting the one on the left. So these are becoming zeros. Anything to the right of the balloon becomes zeros. Because this is a nine, it gives one more in here. And nine plus one is 10. So that's why you get the 10 in here. So it's 1,000. Rounded to the hundreds, affected the thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds is a zero. Will it be one more? An additional hundred? Well, 97 makes sense that it's going to go to the next hundred, right? So in here, this is five or more. Five or more will add one in here, in the one that we circle. Zero plus one is a one. This stay the same. And to the right becomes zero. Okay, the comma, so 15,100. The more we practice, the better we get at it. So ones, tens, hundreds. So and here is the hundreds. The next number on the right is a three, so it stays. So we copy this, that one stays, and these become zeros. Ones tens, hundreds. It's a nine. And this is five or more. Whenever it's five or more, we add one in here. What happens when it's a nine? It ends up affecting this number as well. Se derrama. Okay, it spills over to the... Only when it's a nine and you're adding one more. So it's two, four, and then zero, zero, zero. Why is that? Because nine plus one is 10, put the zero, carry the one, and three plus one is four. Whenever the one that you circle is a nine, and this did give one, it spills over to this number, and everything becomes zero now, only when it's a nine. Ones, tens, hundreds. Oh, too tiny. It cannot give one more, so it stays as three. What happens to the rest? Becomes zeros. Ones, tens, hundreds. Too tiny. So it's just stays as one with zeros. Ones, tens, hundreds. As more than five fingers. So you can give a hand plus one. And so zero plus one is one and everything else becomes zeros. Makes sense because it's closer to 100 because it's 90. Ones, tens, hundreds. Six is, you can give a hand. It's another way to remember you can do the balloon or just, if you have more than one, five fingers, you can give a hand. And that's your hand plus one hand. <laughs> so, on the left, it stays the same. Seven plus one is eight, and these become zeros. Round to the nearest thousands place. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. The fourth number is the one that you're going to be circling. And the one on the right will tell you if it has five or more, you can give a hand. In this case, it's zero, so it stays, okay? and everything in front becomes a zero. So the five, anything to the left is usually the same except when this is a nine. Sometimes it will change it, sometimes it will. Okay, five, it stays because this doesn't give one more, and then these become zeros. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, this is a zero. In here, it's only three fingers. So it stays a zero, and this all becomes zeros. In reality, 
you don't need to put them because one zero is the same as many zeros. <laughs> the next one, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Hmm, this one is seven. You can give a hand. And when this is a nine and you add one more, it spills over. So because we don't have anything in here, it's a zero. Zero plus the spilling over is one. And all of these are going to be zeros. Again, why? Because nine plus one is 10, put the zero, carry one. We just put it in there and this becomes zeros. One, two, three. So this is this 10 is from nine plus one, okay? And the three zeros. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Eight. Can you give a hand? Yeah, you have five or more fingers, so plus one hand. On the left, it stays the same. Five plus one is six, and the rest to the right becomes zero. One, two, three, zeros. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Does it give it, yeah, six? It gives a hand. So whenever you have five or more, you add one. Zero plus one is one, and all of these become zeros, so three zeros. The last one, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Five or more, yes, six is more than five, so it can give a hand. And if you have a nine and you add one more, it spills over. So nine plus one is 10, Carry with a one, A plus one is nine, and all of these become zeros, one, two, three. 90,000. With this, we end our lesson. If you can please give us a thumbs up, subscribe around here. This is the link to the entire unit in English. Here you will find the next lesson, and here you will find the link to the entire unit in Spanglish. Now you're able to work on pages eight, nine, and 10 from module A and have fun.